Hey everyone, I've got a TPLC loadout. I flat laid everything out for a uh, picture for Instagram, which is going to go off. But um, I've, I've had a bit of a cull, a bit of decision making time because I want to use this bag as my grab and go. So here's the video of me putting that together. Enjoy. I um, had this loaded up and I wasn't super stoked with how everything was working. I um, was still very heavily relying on my uh, MP1. So I was gonna try and do a little, this this is everything I was carrying in it um, recently. And um, it's very good, but what I really wanted to do was avoid needing to lug this thing around as well. So um, this would be like a dedicated um, everyday carry, just light tool bag, which is what I want. Like I, I'm, I was just sick of having to juggle a bunch of things in. So I want a bag that's got like a meter, my drill, the basics just to do most jobs. I'm not doing anything particularly heavy at the moment, doing sort of more of a, sort of more of a site management, project management sort of role. So there's a couple of things that I want to cull out of this and then um, we'll see what happens. So um, it's a bit of like a first go loadout essentially for the TPLC. I really like this bag. It's a great little size. Um, you can fit like, I mean, that's not even half if I, if I pan you around. I mean, you can fit all of that stuff. I just took a picture for Instagram because it's, you know, that's the cool thing to do. So what we'll do, we'll just, um, we'll just load it up and I'm going to put the essentials in first and then I might have to shuffle some stuff around and see, see what works. So I think I, I had this absolutely packed with, um, <clears throat> big Cobras. So these guys here, I, I had all these in. I don't think they're necessary, honestly. Um, it is nice having a big set of um, grips in the bag, but like for the most part, you can really get away with, you know, the seven inch style, the 180s. So I'm gonna, they're definitely getting a place in, 100%. Um, but uh, we'll just see, we'll see what we can do with, um, with this new loadout. So I'm thinking, side cutters i had the um sorry if you're popping the side of my head but i had the twin grips which were new to me i really like them but the reality is i'm just not using them as much as uh say something like you know the set of side cutters so they were in here i think that's a pretty good spot for something so whether we go in the side here it's a little bit of a deep pocket there so that that would be hard to access so I think we'll just pop them there for the minute and see what see what happens. Obviously, need the marbles. They're my everyday pliers. If they fit in there, that's not too bad coming in and out. All right. Um, now my everyday screwdrivers. I've got that as my Phillips and the Fluke as my terminal. So they're going to get some prime position here. So if I could, no, it's not sitting. These, these pockets, Vito, if you ever watch this, these pockets here, they need to be a little deeper. Sorry, and everything's out of frame. But yeah, so they, they go in and out of there pretty well. Once everything snugs up in the bag, it'll probably be a little better too. Now, I was running my T6 tucked in here. It, it does fit when there's nothing else in there. So if I keep this nice and light at the back, um, I'll just have to work out what's going to go in there. So I do like having my demo driver in and I'll probably, I really love this screwdriver, but if I've got a dedicated Phillips, I find it just because of the, um, the shank here, it's hard to get into like some deeper terminals. So having this in this bag beforehand without having this made a little bit of sense. So I'm going to leave this out for the moment and just see see how we go um some other essentials for me are the flush cutters got to have the flush cutters in there um where to put them is another question i had them in here with the um the needle nose so i might stick with that for the minute because that they fit in there pretty well everything's still relatively easy to access i feel like that's a bit of a waste of a slot but you know, it's an everyday, everyday grab tool, so it's hard to, hard to argue with it. Now, 
I do like having like a little driver in the bag. I've got my uh, long 10 bit, so that was in, I lived in there. But again, I'm, I'm gonna be, try and be ruthless with the coal initially. I've got the Nipex knife, I do really like that. Where to put it is the question though, so I mean, we can put it in here. Got the drill, see, I want, I want the drill. Drill can go in there. It sort of kind of fits in there, so <clears throat> um, the little isn't that doesn't really. I mean, it doesn't really. These pockets just need to be deeper. So, like further down in the bag, it's because if that if that drop down to there, it's sort of like it does in the TPXL. Everything's very accessible still. So, yeah, they definitely need to be a bit deeper. I might just pop that there because it sort of fits in there nice. So I had the scissors, I like having my scissors. Um, obviously on the front we can pop the little spiller in the level. That's fine. And I just had these, these are like almost garden ornaments honestly, but they're really nice so I had them in there. I'll probably put something a little bit more active in there but they look good for now. Um, spanners, so this, this is a tricky one, how far do you go with spanners? And especially these things, so I really like using these, they're the four size Barco spanners, but I'm just, I'm not getting the use out of them that really makes them justified to have them in the bag. So the 16 mil though on the other hand, I definitely think I get the use out of that, so it's going to get a spot in here, but I might share it with something else in this pocket. I might put this little joker in because that's that's actually pretty handy as well. Put that in there. Yeah, that's like difficult to get. I'm going to forget that that's in there, in that position. So maybe that's another thing. Just drop in the side here. Just tuck them in there like that. Um, all right, so the bits, obviously I need all my bits, put the apex in there, um, usually I keep this on here, because it's a little bit more out of the way, keeps it neat in there, there's a spare Phillips, my extension bits, oh, that can go in, and this one I think I had in here, or in there or something, a purple pen, Jam that in there too. That obviously needs a different spot. So I mean that that was in there before. Maybe I'll just I'll roll with that for a minute. See what we can do with this. That's a bit in the way there. That's not too bad there. As long as that doesn't drop down all the way. I think that's all right. So these two, the 180 Cobras and the pliers wrench, they were living in here which is fine, but then you sort of see with the meter again, it, it gets real tight in there to get that in, especially with the magnet on the back. And I can't live without the magnet now that I've got it. It's a Klein Tools magnet, um, but it just makes, it makes it so much easier to test. So I've seen people whacking their meter in here. So I don't like putting it leads down like that. So we'll see if we get it. Again, this magnet's a problem. Now this bag, for it to function as I want it to function, it has to have a meter in it. It's like it can't, I can't live without the meter. So and this I jammed it in. You can get it in there, but it's just a little bit. It is a little bit tight. So I'm not sure whether I want to just live with that or not. But I was living with it before, so I'll give it a. Give it a crack. You can pop them in there. You just need to pull them out to get the meter out. I suppose you don't need the meter all the time. Put my little center punch in, start at center punch. This thing's super nice. You pop that in there on the side. It's all good. Now, do you really need a Stanley knife when you've got the Nipex knife? I don't think so. So that's getting chucked to the side. I'm gonna put the ratchet in. Um, though, do I need to? I'm not carrying any other bits for it other than the 10. 
No, it is handy because I always forget that I've not not that I forget that I've got it, but this in combination with this is a really nice set. That little driver's nice for tight spots, but this one's a lot better to use. So I will put it in. It's going in there. All right, so everything's still relatively easy to access. Okay, it's just the meter, so the meter's a problem. Now, that doesn't quite fit in, sorry, that doesn't quite fit in that pouch, so what I had in the back here, it's got the little um, laptop pouch, but they've actually put some pockets in there now because they know that people aren't putting, um, sorry, not laptop, uh, tablet pouch, so that just goes in there like that. Um, and I have my little PowerPoint cut out unit which is really handy I like having that there and excuse the head got my lead lens inspection light so that's what I had set up in there I'm, I'm happy with that setup it goes in nice and tight that's fine All right. so I'll go back to the front All right so what else can I live without um, obviously I don't think I'm gonna put the speedy back in because Again, the speedy is something that I'll grab doing a specific job. If this is a grab and go bag, I don't really need this. Like if I'm fitting a switchboard off or I'm building panels, I'll, I'll grab this specifically, I think. Uh, like having my little jumpers in there, that was a nice little spot for them. Keeps it close enough. My little tiny file, just for the odd jobs. somewhere that's fine now <clears throat> I have my this is my leaker like laser distance measure thing super accurate I mean down to you know a millimeter there it's very nice so, that was what I kept in this um in this top case here I'll leave that in there, I think. Just in that. Um, drops it out of the way. It's it's easy enough to access if you need it. So, yeah. I mean, what else have we got? Do I need a shifter? I mean, I've, got the, I've got the grips there, but I mean, this does open particularly widely. And this is a low-profile Barco shifter. Super nice shifters. If Bico didn't make shifters, I wouldn't even bother keeping one anymore. But do I need it? Um, I don't think I do. So it's going to get set to the side. Obviously, you need a ruler. You can't live without one of these little rulers, so that can just sit in there. Now, <clears throat> you definitely, definitely need a tape measure. Can't live without that. Uh, need your glasses. Now, little, um, if you have a set of these, these are the Fusion um, safe tiles, which I prefer over the classics. They're just a little tiny bit bigger. And you've got a big stupid looking head like me. All right, but if you get one of these hard cases and you just happen to have a pair of these ISO tunes, they, it actually will, all, all your little PPE stuff can fit in here together. You just have to set it the right way, so like that. What's this? Done. So you got all your PPE in there, and I just put a cable tie on the handle here. I was hooking it on. There's a D. There's a D ring in there where the the drill is, but it just hangs there. It's high enough off the ground. On the D ring, it was dragging a little bit on the ground, so it's a pretty good. Sorry, it's a pretty good little spot there. Some good clearance under the the bench. Uh, this little cable clip thing is like handy, it's like a reusable cable tie. So that just, just stays on the top there. Now, well that's about it really. Like I've still got a space here. Now, debating whether I sort this meter out and do something else with it or do I put some of the big grips back in. Um, all of these plus the shifter actually fit in this pocket. This is where these were living. In the, in the loadout so you can get them all in tightens it up nice and then the shifter will fit in there too now whether that's 
clever to carry. I'm, I'm unsure. Maybe I could put the twin grips in there. Or do I go the um, installation prize and then have a set of... Well, I'll see you again. See, these things, in Australia at least, these, like, these are awesome. Like the, the, the tool is brilliant. It's got like strippers, it's got crops, you know, you can ream with it. It's, it's great for pinching cables because it's got the flat end on it there. But this does all, most of that. And this is the tool that I use for twisting and terminating cable every day, like all day, every day. It's pretty hard for me to justify having that when this does, you know, 80% of what I've used this for. I mean, apart from the flat ends, which, I mean, you can always put a bit of tape around your, um, you put a little bit of tape around the ends of your, of your needle nose, which have the serrated there. And you put a bit of tape around there and then it's a flat picker as well. So I'm going to, the insulation pliers aren't going to make the cut this time, but I do have that one single slot left. So I can either go, I don't know. I'm not sure what to put in there, to be honest. Yeah, anyway, maybe a hammer. Can my hammer fit in this bag? Actually, I haven't tried it. Yeah, see, that's as far down as it's going to go, so that's not going to happen. I'm not sure. Maybe I do put, maybe I'll just go with that one. I think that's the go, actually. It is handy. Because it also syncs up nicely with the, um, the tool check plus you can fit all the um the bits into here as well so if you want to have a, a like a hex drive um screwdriver so i think i'll go with that yeah so i mean that's the loadout boys i do have a spare slot there for something something small but i'll find something here and yeah not a bad loadout for this little bag obviously there's a couple of rolls of tape there. Hello, Daddy. Hello, sweetie. Who is going to the airport and catch the airplane? She's catching an airplane. Wow. Well, we better go get in the car and take her. That'll do, fellas. Hope you enjoyed the video. So, anyway, um, that's the loadout that I finally decided on. Um, pliers and sideys up the front. Um, for easy access the meter I'm just going to deal with it's a tight it's a tight fit but this is like a tiny bag really and full for what I could, I've got in and I'm pretty happy I ended up putting these back in because um, I did have the I think having the sideies in there one tool in there is easy to pull out if you need to pull the meter out I didn't want to pull like my little um my little um cobras and uh Plies wrench in there and that just fits in there nicely so um and i, I do like I, I like using it because it's fucking super handy like you can get bolts on the end undo bolts like ply style it's really nice so little crappy bolts um yeah so i'm gonna leave that in there because i like i like having it available and using it it's still pretty new to me so yeah um that's it that's the bag it's a little tplc i got this for my apprentice i got I actually got my apprentice to buy a uh, veto bag and i um i paid him 100 bucks um when he did and i said look i'll i'll subsidize your bag 100 bucks if you give me the redemption so um he got himself a veto lc and uh, i got this out of it so i think we both sort of won in that regard but uh yeah so thanks for watching. It's a um, just a bag review sort of tour, sort of intro sort of thing. I'm gonna do my thought process towards it. But <clears throat> yeah, it's a um, it's a good little bag. I'm enjoying using it. I've it's replaced the TP XL for the minute. TP XL is extremely heavy, and this is like a one-handed lift. Well, I mean it's it's pretty heavy still. I might get the scales actually. Hold that thought. <laughs> have to take my word for it but it's uh 9.3 kilos 
I don't know what that is in pounds, like 18 pounds or something. But yeah, all right, thanks for watching, team.